hello and welcome back and thank you for subscribing to my channel paint with gloria so let's get started today we're gonna do a garden so let's start with some blue mixed in into the white to do the sky. We're sweeping, sweeping, picking up some more white. Sweep, 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 pick up more white. And because the brush has blue in it, we don't need to pick up any blue. We don't want to make it too dark. So let's put in some more in there, more white, more white, there we go, move it around, it looks like clouds even though we haven't put any clouds in, wonderful, now smooth it out very lightly, very light touches, sweep it back and forth, Make sure you don't create any solid lines, okay? And I'm using a piece of canvas from my row, and I taped it so that uh, it doesn't move on me, okay? And then it's going to be an 8x10, even though I cut it a slightly bigger than 8x10. All right, let's put in some greenery in here. So let's pick up some black and some yellow. You don't have to clean your brush. Blue from the sky. I just picked up some black and yellow and it's turned green. So we're going to fill it in here. This is all going to be the same color. So we're doing the same stroke that we did for the sky. Nothing different, same one, back and forth, back and forth, until we cover the whole ground. Pick up a little more black if you have to. Now we're going to bring it up, tapping, tapping, pick up some more of that yellow, tapping, keep tapping, tap, 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 tap. tap. Tap, tap, loose, brittle up, loose, brittles, okay, tap, 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 you're tapping, keep tapping, tap, tap, bring that tap up, tap, tap, Keep tapping, pick up some more of that black, mixed in with that yellow, tap, tap, again picking up some more black, I just want to darken it a little bit more, tap, tap, come on this side as well, tap, tap, pick up some more black, here and there you don't have to cover the whole background in black just here and there just here and there okay, a little bit more black I'm out of black on my palette put a little bit more pick up some more black mix it in with that there you go that's better that's the dark I was looking for Beautiful. Keep tapping until you're happy with it. Tap, tap. Bring some more to the bottom. Okay, pick up a little bit more. I want this a little bit darker. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, 
tap. That's good enough. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put in some greens. So let me go ahead and clean my brush. I'm not going to wash it. I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to dry clean it on my cloth here without water. And I'm going to pick up some yellow. Just the yellow. It's going to turn green because you have that dry black on your brush. Tap, tap. Here and there. Tap, tap. There you go. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Lightly. Pick up some more yellow if you have to. And keep tapping. Tap, tap. Push down. There you go. Okay, I think I like that. Now I'm going to put this one down. I don't think I'll be needing it. So I'm going to put it in water and let it rest there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up Pick up an angle brush, it's a small angle brush, and I'm going to pick up some brown, brown, because I want to create a path. So I'm going to pick up some brown, mix it in with a little bit of white, okay, we're going to do this path let's say here I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna do this because this is gonna guide me as to where the path is leading to so pick up a little bit more white and the reason I'm doing this is so I can see it okay now that we have that pick up a little bit more white Mix it in there. Okay, and remember the ones in the back are going to be smaller than the ones in the front. I'm going to wiggle my brush. Pick up some more white. Mix it in with that brown. It's a uh, burnt sienna is the brown that I'm using here. Just kind of pull, pull, and if your path got too big in the back, don't worry about that. We can always come back and fix that, okay? So depending on what happens around it, we'll come back and fix it. These can be uh, steps. I'm just pulling. Pulling. Okay, that can be the steps. Pick up a little bit of more white. Mix it in. There you go. And then touch ground here. There you go. Touch ground. A little bit white right here. So you can stand out some more. See, these look like steps already. I'm cleaning my brush and we're going to be adding flowers in the back. So let's pick up some. Okay, I'm going to pick up my crazy brush. You can pick any flat brush that you might have that's, let's say, it's a little open like this one. This is the same thing, it's just this one is very old, so it's open really, really wide. So I'm going to pick up some magenta. Let's pick up some magenta and let's put flowers tapping very lightly because you won't see any details on these flowers because they're so far away. So we're just going to give the impression there's flowers back here and some here. Oh, that's a big one. 
so very light lightly very lightly here and there they're not all in one place okay near the path I'm gonna pick up some white into that magenta so it can lighten up for me some okay see you see what I mean like that very lightly lightly jump around jump around beautiful beautiful jump around jump around those flowers are all over the place it's a beautiful garden we're gonna put some here pick up some more white mix it in with that magenta beautiful flowers some flowers here in the front pick up magenta beautiful I love the pink ones they're just so beautiful as you know I love the garden I love to be outdoors beautiful see that you see how that's coming along and here along this path there's flowers all over the place now we're going to add let's add some pink ones so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean my brush and I'm just gonna pick up some pink add a little bit of white to that pink not much just a little bit just gonna put it here with my crazy brush tap 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 beautiful tap 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 here and there tap tap don't forget to tap very lightly very lightly some here some here what else do I want flowers uh, let me put some here in the distance can hardly see them just a faint of pink okay now we're going to pick up just a little bit more white than pink so we can have those white flowers okay there you go white flowers and jump here so we can even out the colors beautiful there you go some here okay some here okay now that we've done that let's go ahead and let's see putting this one down I'm gonna go ahead and do some yellow so I'm gonna pick up what am I picking up here I'm gonna pick up a very small flat and I'm going to pick up some yellow mix it in with red because I want it to be orange and then I'll lighten it up with some more yellow so right now it's just red and yellow to make orange so we're going to do this we're going to do this just kind of make little petals here and if your canvas is still wet from that black and green we put in there it's okay just don't press too hard see do a few pick up some more yellow mix it in there pick up a little bit more red because I want the orange look okay and we're gonna add another one here pressing it's like a uh, sunflower it varies but it's more like a wildflower it just looks like a sunflower okay go pick up some more Petal, pick up some more yellow. There 
we're going to go to define it. I'm going to put one here. Doesn't have to be detailed as long as it looks like a flower. See that? And I'm going to put one here. Picking up some more. Mixing it with some yellow. Let's see. We have one, two, three. We have six. I don't want even numbers. So let me do a half here. And I'm going to jump here and put some here. But these are not going to be detailed like those. You're just going to see a speck of orange back here. And again, this is just to kind of balance the colors, okay? Balance colors. And one here. Okay, wonderful. Now that we have this, we're going to add a little bit of darknesses in the middle. So which means I'm going to pick up some black. Black, I don't have to clean my brush. Just picking up some black and going into the middle. See, that's all I'm doing. Fill it in that middle. But we're not doing anything on that side because they're so far away you can't see the middle. So we're just going to leave these here. Okay. Now we're going to draw, not draw, I'm sorry, we're going to paint some wild flowers on the ground. But before we do that, I'm going to pick up my brush. It's a flat brush again. This one is a little old, so it's a little spread out. But I'm going to pick that one up and picking up the black, mixing it in with the yellow to get some dark green in there. And I'm just going to tap. Just tap. Tap here. Tap. Tap along the road. Tap. Tap. Just tap, just tap, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. See, I'm going to fill in more here, just a little bit, because I didn't want this step to be really big, just little ones, compared to ones in the front. So I'm closing them in a little bit. There you go. Picking up some more black. Mixed in with that yellow. Tap, tap, tap. And we're going to add little flowers along this walkway here. Okay. They just kind of grew wild. Pick up some more. These are going to be little bushes here on the same side over here. Okay. Here we're going to just go across because we want to add. Pick up some more black with the yellow. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. You come along here. Tap, tap, tap. We're going to be adding some dark browns here to make it look like soil, the ground. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, a little bit more here just to kind of cover a little bit more of that step. There you go. The smaller the better. That will look more like in the distance. In the distance, there you go. Beautiful. Okay. Let me kind of cover this. I don't have enough paint here. So let me just kind of scrub here. Make sure I don't have no white spots here. There you go. Cover the whole canvas. We don't want white canvas showing. That's the reason I did that. Do it here too. Okay. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush in the water, dry it with my cloth, and I'm going to put some of that burnt sienna. I'm not picking up any other color but the burnt sienna. I'm not mixing with anything, but we're going to put it in here in the ground. I'm going to just kind of blend it in, blending it in by scrubbing, by scrubbing. That way, when you scrub, you're moving it around. Same thing here. Scrub, scrub. See? Scrub, scrub in, scrub, scrub. Now that we have that, we're going to add just a little bit of highlight. Not much, just a little bit, just a little bit, same thing here, just a little bit, not much. And what happened was, when I added this, it took away from the darkness that I wanted there, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more black. I want to just put it back in there. I want that dark in there. Putting it back, putting it back. Just tapping, just tapping to make sure it goes back. Get in there, there you go. Beautiful. Pull, pull, I'm just pulling. Pull that way as well, pull. Trying to even those colors out. Now that we did that, I'm gonna go ahead and Clean my brush with water and dry it. And I'm just going to pick up some green here. I believe that I'm using Christmas green and the marsh green. If you don't have the greens, it's okay. Use any green you have or just add black and yellow. And you have there you have your green. Add white to it. It gets lighter. If you want it darker, just don't add white. Okay, a little bit of yellow just to kind of lighten it up here. These little bushes, bushes here. Okay, pick up some of that marsh green just to kind of have different greens along the path. And again, I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. Beautiful. There you go. Just bring it out here too. It's okay. Now pick up a little bit of yellow just to lighten it up. Just so you can have different greens, not all the same green. There you go. Picking up a little bit more yellow. Should get lighter. See how that got lighter? Tap, tap, just tap. And again, I'm using a small flat brush. And I'm just tapping very lightly, almost feather like. Picking up a little bit more yellow. There you go. Same thing here. Little flowers growing all over the place. I'm going to add. A little bit of yellow and white in there just to kind of make it different. There you go. Same thing here. Very little. Highlights here. Highlights there. On these bushes that have grown. That's a lot. So I'm going to put a little bit of green in there. I didn't want it to be that bright. Okay, so I'll do the same thing here. Balance it. I'm going to do a little bit bush here. And this is just balancing the colors, okay? That's all I'm doing is balancing. To pick up a little bit of more yellow, just put tap here, tap here, go across, some here, go across. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Okay, now that we have done that, I'm going to go ahead in with my... Okay, yes, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my fan brush. Here we go. I just got another manicure. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up some green, but I'm going to add more yellow. I'm short on yellow. There you go. A little bit more yellow. More yellow. I'm picking up yellow and some green, which is the Christmas green, and kind of mixing it together. Because what I want to do is I'm going to be pulling from here and up. Watch this. Up. Up. See? That's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to pick up some more yellow. Tap, tap, because I don't want it too heavy. And I'm going to pull. This is just tall grass. Tall grass. Pick up some more. Tap, tap. Tall grass. Tall grass. Pick up some more yellow. Mix it into that green. And do the same thing here. Pick up some more yellow to green for me. Pick up more yellow. That's better. And what I'm doing is um, putting putting it down, and then I'm just kind of pulling, just kind of pulling it. You see, like I'm sweeping that way. Sweep, sweep. You sweeping. Pick up some more yellow. Look at that. Okay, now that we have that, and the reason this is brighter because now it's more in the foreground. But before we continue that, I'm going to, hmm, let's pick up a small, yes, I'm picking up my very tiny, small, flat brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to paint in a young lady. Now... Um, we're going to use something like flesh color, um, flesh color or flesh tone. If you do not have the flesh tone, what you could use is, um, the burnt sienna or raw sienna and add some white to it. And, um, it'll lighten it up and it'll give you some skin color. So what we're going to do is that I added a little bit of burnt sienna and some flesh, flesh tone. So what we're going to do is, let's see, we're going to, let's put her here. She's going to, that, that's her arm, and then this is her hand. And this is going to be her other hand. What we're going to do is we're going to give her what color dress. I want to play with the dress. I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush because I want to play with her dress before I continue her body. Let's give her, let's give her a white dress. How's that? Okay. So we're going to give her a white dress. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. We're going to go around her arm. We can come back and pull her arm back in if it gets covered with the white. But this is her back. And now we're going to go like this. That's her dress, her skirt. And then we're going to go this way. And we're going to go that way since she's bending down. And we're going to go this way. That's a skirt. There we go. Okay. And we'll put the arm back in there. That's not a problem. Okay. I think that's good. That's good. I don't think I want to mess up with that anymore. So now I'm going to clean my brush and go back to the color 
to give her her skin color. So again, burnt sienna and some flesh stones. So I'm gonna put her on back. It doesn't have to be detailed because it's a painting. It's not a picture. Okay, so we're gonna pick up some more color and we're gonna give her this arm back. And she's reaching for flowers. She's reaching for flowers. Give me some more of that color. Okay, and here. Okay, now we're gonna, let me pick up some more color here. We're gonna give her a little face, too much, too much. I don't think I dry my brush well enough because I can feel it. It's too soft, the water has gotten into my brush. Yes, it is, so let me dry it. That happens when I don't dry my brush well, water stays inside the brittles and it affects the color. So let me go ahead and put that in there. Okay, come on, come on, get in there. Okay, good enough. Okay, good enough. Get some more. Okay, beautiful. Now what I wanna do is give her a hat. I'm gonna put a hat on her. Let's see what color hat. Let's give her a brown hat and then we'll lighten it. So I'm gonna pick up some burnt sienna straight up without diluting it or adding another color to it. So I'm gonna give her a hat. There we go. Picking up some more. Okay, there we go. Bring it down. And then we're gonna put some highlights in this hat. Okay, now I'm ready to put some highlights in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush into the white to get her those highlights. Need See, this is to separate the hat. Give us some highlights on the hat. Some of you want, want to define that little hat she's wearing. So let's pick up a little bit more white. Dip it into your white. Get slider. So this is her hat right here. See, the sun is hitting it right there. Now I'm going to do a little darkness underneath to give it a shadow. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of black, mix it in with the color that I use for her skin. So we're going to put it right here. Now pick up some more. See, this is the black one that I picked up. Okay, good enough. Now, put some black here underneath her neck. There you go, to kind of separate it. Beautiful. Now we're gonna give her some legs. So now I'm gonna wash my brush, dry it well, and we're going to give her some legs. So again, we're gonna pick up the dark uh, burnt sienna adding a tab of flesh color, but I want more burnt sienna than anything. So we're gonna give her those legs here. Can hardly see them because again, she's gonna be standing behind all this greenery. So you can't see that. Now that we have that, I'm going to 
let me finish. Let's finish her little hand here. We didn't finish her hand. So we're just going to finish a little bit. Because again, we ain't going to be able to see the fingers or anything because it's not that detail. So we're going to give her a little bit of lightness here as well as here. That's where the, her sun, the sun is going to be hitting her. Okay, now that we have her, you know what I would like to do? I would like to give her, um, let's give her maybe a little basket maybe? Let's see how we're going to do that. Uh, let's see. I would say let's pick up a little bit of blue mixed in with white. And we're going to give her a blue basket. Here we go. Now come this way. There you go. Just imagine a basket. There you go. That's her basket. Now let's color it in. Which means we're going to paint in a little basket. I picked up some white. Some white. Very lightly. Now, I'm going to give it a little bit more shadow because I took away all that beautiful blue I had on it. So let me put that blue back in. There you go. Put in that blue. Clean my brush. Let's see. I think she looks great. Now let's give a little bit more flower. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up some green. I didn't clean my brush. That's okay. We don't have to. And some black because I want it to be dark here. Right where she's at. Right here. Let's pick up some more black. Go. A little bit black here where she's standing. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to give her what color flowers. Why don't we, we give her some yellow flowers to pick? So let's tap into the yellow and give us some yellow flowers. Here we go. She's picking up yellow flowers. Ooh, let's put some inside her basket. Very light, very light, very light. She's got flowers in her basket now. Isn't that cute? Now, what I'm going to do is I want to balance the painting. So, I want to put some flowers on the opposite side. Which means I'm going to put some flowers here. I'm just tapping. Tapping. Some flowers along here. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to put a little bush here. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, is because I'm always trying to balance my painting. There you go. Okay. And some here. Right here. Beautiful. Now, ready for the tall grass? We're going to pick up my fine liner. It's almost like a half an inch, but it's very fine. So I'm going to clean it. Get that lotion off it, and I'm going to pick up some green and yellow mixed in together. So, there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to make them longer. Okay, twirl your brush into the paint. And let's give it some color. If you have to pick up some more yellow, go ahead. Just going to give it some tall. You know what? Um, I said grass, but let's just say there. these are just some kind of plants. They just look pretty. I don't know what kind of plants they can be, but I like that effect that I'm getting there. There you go. 
same thing on this side and I know we didn't finish these but we can come back to those let me just put them in here and turn them turn this way you see that you can turn any way you want to I think that looks pretty let me turn this some this way some this way this way straight some going that way this way that way beautiful let me turn some this way beautiful okay she looks like a very happy young lady picking some flowers let's give us some more yellows here along the way okay let's see what are we missing here are we missing anything yes we are let's put in some flower stems here that goes here pick up some more here this one goes here and cuts across Here, there you go, and you from here. There you go. Okay, and let's just add mm, for the sake of it, let's just kind of put in some little leaves here just to kind of there you go, little leaves. Just kind of pick up any green you have on your palette. There you go. Any green will do. There you go. Any green is fine with me. Okay, guys, I think we're done. We got the young lady picking flowers. We have the walkway. Uh, if you like, you can always lighten this a little bit more only if you want to so a little bit of white a little bit of that burnt sienna and we can do this just a little bit pick up a little bit more white All right there you go see so call it the steps if you will Pick up a little bit more white. Scrub, it's almost like scrubbing. There you go. Scrub, scrub. If you don't like it that light, again, pick up some burnt sienna, like I'm doing, and go back and put in the brown. The burnt sienna. Beautiful. I'm going to darken this here on the bottom. There you go. Just enough, not too much. Okay. Now, um, I think it looks great. If you want, you can add burrs to this. It's up to you. Just draw like a V, spread out V. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Um, let's see, can you see here? Uh, a V for the birds, you can go V like that. You see that? Simple as that. V, let it go, spread out. Two little birds, if you want them, add them here. I'm not, I like mine just the way it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign, and I'm going to sign right here. You go ahead and sign your painting. You might also want to date it. You can do that either in the front or the back. It's up to you. 
as long as you sign it, it's always nice to know when we paint things. Sometimes I forget and I go back and I saw, I know I painted that a couple years ago, but to have the exact date, I don't remember. Okay, so now that that's signed, I want to show you. Okay. You can get these rolls of prime canvases at any art store. They sell them by the rolls and also you can decide how many feet you want. You see how pretty that looks? See this side is not primed but this side is. So this one is ready to be hung. But again remember that I did cut it a little bigger than an 8 by 10 this is an 8 by 10 frame so it'll look something like this I don't want to cover my signature so I'll have it frame just like that see that beautiful I just have to cut it to size so it can fit my frame and it'll be just like that without a glass of course because this is an original well guys I hope you really enjoy this one see you on our next adventure God bless adios amigos